Hi, in this video we'll see about the measure names and measure values. Now what exactly are those? Whenever you connect your Tableau session with the other data sources, when importing or when you're connecting those with data sources, there are some auto-generated fields which are created in your Tableau sessions. There are five auto-generated fields which are given. The first one is nothing but the measure names. If I scroll down this way, in the dimensions I have the measure names. Second one I have this one as latitude generated, longitude generated, number of records and the last one I have the measure values. So these are five auto generated you know, fields which are given here. Now how do I find out which are auto generated? If you observe all the auto generated fields are nothing but in the italic format. So that is one method by which you can recognize. Okay. So let us see now what it has done exactly. So very simple and basic one I will start with number of records. So whatever database you have connected, the total number of records are been counted together. So how are the number of records? So if I pick up this number of records and if I drop into this labels, it will give me the sum of all the records. If you see here, see here that sum of number of all the records. It says as 501290. These are the total number of records, 51290. Now if I want to verify that, I have picked up the global superstore 2017 file. So I will open the same file for you like this and that's the same file global superstore 2017 and the first one is nothing but a row heading which is given here if i go to the last cell and find out how many records are there i'll press control down arrow key and i'll reach to the last cell so if you observe here the number of records i have is 51291 51291 and there in the tableau it showed as 51290 it was 51290 and there if you observe it's 51291 because the first record is nothing but the row heading which I have to ignore it, the column heading which I have to ignore it. So these are the total number of records which are given here. Now if I want to dig deeper into it, how come 51920 are given? So if I want to find out with the help of some, uh, some option, let's say if I want to find out how they are distributed based on the market. So I'll pick up the market and I'll bring into this row label itself. So what it says, in Africa there are 4,587, in the Europe there are 11,000, in the Asia Pacific there are 14,000. So if you combine all together, you will be getting 51290, the total number of records, if you see here. Now how do I bring the grand total at this place? Go to the analysis menu bar, click on this total and select the second option, show column grand totals. And if you observe it's 51,290. So what I want if, if I want to change something else, I'll pick up this market and drop into outside, pick up this category, category and I'll drop into this rows. So if you observe is they are distributed and the highest one is given as office supplies. If you want to create a graph, still you can create a graph and you can find out the answer itself, right? So I'll just pick up and keep it as it is. Let's see the ne next one, which I have the measure names. So if I go to the next sheet, so what it says is all the names which you have in the measures, those can be counted, those can be done some aggregated functions. Measure names are nothing but this one as given here. So if I scroll down, that's nothing but the measure names. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up this measure names here. And if I drop into this rows, what happens? You can see there is measure, no measure value. It is given as nothing here. So what I can do is I can pick up this measure values and drop into this text. So it says these are the total measure names. These are the measure names. If you count this six measure names, you will get the same here. The discount number of records, discount you have the number of records, profit, quantity, sales and shipping cost. Everything you will get it except three fields. One is the measure values. Second is the graphical that is latitude and longitude. They are not being counted into your measure values, measure name itself. So this six are given here. Now what exactly is the six options given here? If you find out, let's say if you find out the number of records, we have calculated the total number of records were 51,290. So I'm getting the total of all the records. How do I find out? Because if you see sum of number of records are given here. What are the discounts which is given here? 7,330. Whatever discounts are measured into your database, they have been totaled. That, that's the sum been counted. So how do I come to know? If you see the measure values, that is sum in bracket discount. So this is nothing but a total of all the discounts which you have. Same way for the quantity, sales and shipping cost, everything. So whatever numbers you have in your database, you can get a summary of all the numbers at one location using this measure names itself, right? This is nothing but a textual format. If you want to understand in the graphical format, we'll go to the next one. That is measure names and measure values. The only thing if you want to find out everything at one place is 
we just need to double click on this measure values so if i double click on this measure values i'll get a graphical method by which you can show you everything at this place here it says discount number profit so i'll expand this so it's easy for you to understand yeah now if you see here that's discount number of records profit quantity sales and shipping cost now it is difficult for me to identify what exactly it says so what i'll do is i'll pick up this measure values and put into this labels once i put into the labels you can see the number of records are total 51290 the total profit which i have gained is 1467457 that's the total one so in the graphical format it is very very easy to find out using this measure names and measure values the only thing what you have to do is you have to just double click on this measure values so if i want to show it again i'll just clear the entire sheet by clicking on this drop down like this if i click on this clear button the entire data gets cleared it's just one single step double click on this measure values and all the options in your place all the measures will be shown into the graphical format where you can easily understand right so i hope you able to understand how do we work on this measure names and measure values this one thing left which is longitude and latitude this will take when we'll start the map session in that session we'll be showing in detail what is longitude and latitude i hope you have understood that's all for this video